Hey guys, welcome to my video on finding minimum average total cost. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two ways to calculate the average total cost. One way where you're not expected to know any calculus and the other way where you are. So let's do the non-calculus way first. Uh, because you don't have calculus, that means that they will have to have given you some information, including this marginal cost function. The marginal cost is the derivative of total cost with respect to Q, so if you don't know calculus, you can't solve for it on your own. But based on that, that information is given to us. Let's remember what's going on. Our average total cost usually has some kind of a U shape, and it does in this case too. It's going to look something like this. We're trying to find this quantity and this dollar value to find the minimum average total cost. Now, where does that come from? We can find it by finding where the marginal cost meets the average total cost. That will give us the quantity and the minimum dollar amount. So let's get an average total cost function. Average total cost is equal to total cost over Q is equal to 200 divided by Q minus 10Q divided by Q plus 2Q squared divided by Q which means your average total cost is equal to 200 over Q minus 10, because those Qs cancel out, and then plus 2Q. All right, so if we want to find the minimum average total cost, we set our marginal cost equal to the average total cost. So minus 10 plus 4Q is equal to 200 over Q minus 10 plus 2Q. See, the 10s cancel out, because you could just add 10 to both sides. I'll subtract 2Q from both sides, get 2Q equals 200 over Q. Q squared, 2Q squared is equal to 200. Q squared is equal to 100. Q equals 10. Blam, there it is. Now, we have not found the minimum average total cost yet. We found the Q where the minimum average total cost exists. In order to find the minimum average total cost now, we're going to take this Q and plug it into the average total cost function there and there and wherever there's a Q. So your minimum average total cost is equal to 200 divided by 10 minus 10 plus 2 times 10. Let's see, that's 20 minus 10 plus 20 is 30. And there is your minimum average total cost. Okay, now there is a different way of doing this, which may or may not be helpful to you. Uh, let's see if we can get the same answer though, and I'll let you be the judge on if this is a useful thing to do or not. We've got this average total cost function. We've got this U shape. One thing we can do is we can take the derivative of this average total cost function and we can find the point where the slope is zero. You see, to the right of that, the slope's gonna be positive. It's going up. And to the left of it, the function's decreasing, and so the slope is negative. But if we set the slope equal to zero, that should give us the same Q. So let's try it. The derivative of the average total cost function with respect to Q is equal to, ooh, 200 over Q. Let me rewrite that real quick just to help you out. 200 over Q is the same thing as 200 Q to the negative 1 minus 10 plus 2 Q. So this helps us because we can still use our power rule. Uh, 200 times Q to the minus 1, so let's see, minus 200 over Q squared. Minus 10 doesn't go anywhere. And then plus 2 equals 0. So do you see where that derivative came from? The derivative of this piece is minus 200 over Q squared because our exponent negative 1 multiplied by 200 and then became a negative 2. The minus 10, when you take the derivative, doesn't have anything left. It's just a 0 slope on the average total cost function. And then 2Q, the derivative is just 2. 
So, if you're comfortable taking a derivative, right now this is looking easier to work with. Look, I took one derivative and here I am. Let's simplify this out. Two equals 200 over q squared. Two q squared equals 200. Q squared equals 100. Q equals 10. Hey, that's the same one as before. We're also gonna get that the average total cost equals 30. So it doesn't matter which way you go. They will both give you the same options. There's the set the marginal cost equal to the average total cost approach. And there's the set the derivative of your average total cost with respect to Q equal to zero approach. Those get the same information and you'll be fine either way. I hope this little tutorial was helpful. If not, sorry, but thanks for watching anyway, guys. Good luck and happy econing.